G'day guys, welcome to this episode of Aussie English. Today I have a question from Dan who sent me this on YouTube and Dan said, how do we get the difference between can and can't in Australian English? So how can we pronounce these and how can we listen out and hear the differences? Let's go. All right, so this was a really good question. Thanks, Dan. And remember, if you guys want to ask me a question that you would like me to do a video on in the future, put that below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications button as well if you would like to stay up to date with all the future episodes. All right, so can, we'll go through can first. Can has the vowel sound ah, okay? So it sounds like words like fan, van, man, plan, and scan. However, can, can often be contracted. It can be de-emphasized when it is in a sentence that has other words, where the word can is not the focus. So can is an auxiliary verb, and I can use this verb before other verbs if I want to show that I am able to do this thing. I'm able to, I can do this thing. However, it can be contracted. It can be contracted into just the schwa sound in Australian English, English everywhere can do this, okay? Can do this. So, if there are words in the sentence after can, I would generally say that you can contract it, okay? So, it will sound like can. So, say this with me. Can, can. Can, can. Good job. And let me give you some examples, okay? I can see. I can see. I would never say it like that. Because the word see is there, I would say, I can see. Can. The other example here is, can he help you? Can he help you? Can he help you? Can he help you? You've got help you in there, so you can say, can he help you? Can he help you? The only thing I want to mention, when it is stand alone, when it is by itself in a sentence, as in someone has used a question, they've asked you, can you do this? Can you do this? And you've replied, yes, I can. You would never contract it. And so you would say the full, well-pronounced word, can. You wouldn't say, I can or you can. So, for example, I can help you later. Can you? Can you? Can is the only interesting word in that sentence aside from the pronoun. Can you? Can you? You wouldn't say, can you? Yes, I can. Not, yes, I can. Okay? So, quick recap. Can sounds like van, dan, man, plan, etc. But it can be contracted when it is not the important word in a sentence. And it can become, it can become, can. Can, can. All right, now let's move on to can't. Can't. So this is a different vowel sound. Can't sounds like words including car, star, far, bar. This is a long ah uh, vowel sound as opposed to a short ah uh, vowel sound, okay? And this happens in the Australian accent where we have this vowel difference. Can, air, eh, can't, ah, uh, air, eh, ah. Uh. This is Australian, could be British as well, but it doesn't happen in the standard American accent. They will say can and can't, can and can't. And you have to listen out for that T. However, because we have that vowel difference in Australian accents, you won't often hear the T at the end. You can hear can, can, you know that that is the affirmative form, there's no negative there. Can, can. And when you hear can, you know, ah, that's negated because of the vowel sound. And remember guys, this is different from the short version of this vowel. Hut is a very short ah sound. But if we make that longer, it changes the meaning of the word to heart, heart, 
right? So this is why it's important to get this vowel sound right or you will change the meaning of the word. And it's quite bad. Story time. Okay, so once I was working in a restaurant and the Thai lady who was my manager at the time, I had to ask for a break. I needed to go on a break. So I said, can I go on break? And she replied to me, no, you can't. So that was incredibly awkward because I'm sure you guys will know that that word is one of the worst, if not the worst words in English. The way in which I told her to get around this was to just make sure she elongates that R sound. So if you're worried about making that mistake, just make sure that you elongate the vowel sound in the word can't. Okay, don't make it quick. Don't make it quick, can't. Another point we also touched on a moment ago was that we mute the T. So quite often you won't hear people say can't. You'll hear them say can't, can't. So what's happening there is that that T is a stop consonant where pressure builds up behind the tongue t, and then is released, t, it's released. But we can unrelease it, although that's not a word. We can prevent it from being released um, by just going so we would say instead of can't, t, we don't say the t, and instead we just say can't, and the tongue stops the air, can't. So it sounds like a very, very, very short N sound instead of a long N sound. So this is another way to listen out for this. If you hear can't, can't, it's different from can, can. That N sound is a lot more emphasized in the word can as opposed to can't. So let's compare these two words, okay? Where we'll say the T released and then we'll say it unreleased. Can't, 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 can't. As a result of this T being muted as well, when a word follows the word can't, and it begins with a vowel sound, quite often we will link these words with an N sound, okay? That N in can't, right at the end there. So two examples are, I can't open the door. I can't open the door. I can't open the door. Nope, nope, I can't open the door. It can't end like this. It can't end like this. Yeah. Although can can be contracted to can, because can't or can't is already a contraction of the words cannot, we won't contract it any further, okay? We won't say couldn't. So let's practice pronouncing the differences between can and can't, okay? Listen out for it. Can, can't, can, can't, can. Can't, can, can't. Now I'm going to say to you a list of sentences, guys, and I'm not going to show you what those sentences are until after I have said them. And I want you to see if you can pick when I say can or can and when I say can't. Okay, so listen and have a think. Pause the video if you need but practice your ear here. This is where you want to listen out and see if you can notice the difference in pronunciation. Let's go. Can animals feel? Can animals feel? She can't help you. She can't help you. I can see him. I can see him. He can eat now. He can eat now. Can they buy me something? Can they buy me something? Can't you see anyone? Can't you see anyone? Yeah. 
It can't end like this. It can't end like this. We can leave when you want. We can leave when you want. I can't change his mind. I can't change his mind. Good job guys, I hope that helps. I know that the different sounds between can and can't can be a real pain in the butt. Keep practicing it, it will take a little time, but I am sure that you will get the hang of it sooner rather than later. Remember guys, hit that subscribe button if you wanna keep up to date with all the future videos coming out with regards to Australian English or English in general. And don't forget to listen to the Aussie English podcast. This is the free podcast that I create guys for anyone and everyone wanting to learn Australian English. So check it out via the website here. Until next time guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you later. Peace.